The Four Agreements teaches us to be impeccable with our word, but unfortunately in our modern society, most people use the word to spread their personal poison of hate, of jealousy, of resentment, and of anger. Rather than use the word for good, they use the word to curse and blame others, to plan revenge, and to create chaos and destruction. So think back on a time that you wanted revenge on someone. In order to achieve that revenge, you said something to or about another person with the sole intention of causing them harm. People can be so calculated in their attempts to bring other people down, and then they lie to themselves to justify their own actions. They say that that person deserved their poison, that they received that proper punishment for their wrongdoing. But of course, this isn't true. Now we are all connected and everyone's lives are intertwined. What one person does affects the greater whole because we live in this holographic universe. And I've talked about this in many of my other videos. Go watch them if you want more detail. But here's the thing. We go back to that old adage that hurt people hurt people. And so this cycle continues until someone decides to break it. Now, all it takes is one person to summon up the courage to make a different choice. One person to watch the evening news and not feel blind rage and the need for revenge when they hear about other people who have caused people harm. One person to not get upset when they're being insulted. One person to respond to an attack with kindness. One person to respond to hate with love. And as that one person makes a different choice, they give everyone else behind them permission to do the same. They, they set out the path. They lay out the path of how to do that. And pretty soon, more and more people follow suit. And eventually, a tipping point is reached in our cosmic canvas, and it's uploaded into the collective consciousness of humanity. And humanity boldly steps forward towards a more peaceful and loving society. Because the way that you help other people and the way you heal a sick society is through kindness and healing yourself. And as you heal yourself, you rise up and then you can offer other people a helping hand and lift them up. The way to do it isn't by attacking other people. My name is Chris Ashley. Follow me for more. I have a book coming out soon called Change Your Mind to Change Your Reality. And if you head to my website, changeyourmindtochangeyourreality.com, I will send you a free guide to help you manifest your dream life once you sign up for my newsletter. Thank you.